Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is a quick overview of the operation of a millivolt gas valve along with a 750 millivolt power pile or thermal pile. Uh, they mean the same thing, thermal pile or power pile. But basically, how this is wired is you have your thermal pile wired right into this terminal, and this one is the uh, TP, so P for pilot valve. Then in the middle, you have a THTP right here. So this will be your uh, common between your pilot valve and your main gas valve. Your main gas valve is called t the TH. So if you, can, if you can read it, it says it right there, the TH right here. So if these two are your main valve and these two are your, your pilot valve, then you see that this flame is actually going to hit this thermal pile and it's going to send millivolts DC to your pilot valve. Now on your pilot valve, you need at the, at the minimum a 50 or 60 millivolts DC, but preferably more in about 100 to 200 millivolts DC. Um, but the whole point of this is that when the flame is heating your thermal pile that you're able to generate around, say, 750 millivolts or just a little bit lower. Now, if you're not generating enough millivolts DC while also powering your solenoid valve for your pilot valve right here, uh, then what you can do is adjust your flame. So you got to realize that this is not open voltage right now. It will be open voltage if I unscrewed this right here and pulled this off. So if I pulled this off, it will be easier to have 750 millivolts because that would be an open circuit voltage. Once we connect this here, now we are actually holding the pilot solenoid valve in place. So when you power the pilot valve, which is back here, you see that this wire is actually coming from the TP, it heads over to the pilot valve. It's actually uh, holding the solenoid in place. It doesn't, it doesn't allow the solenoid to move, it just holds the solenoid in place in the open position. You're actually putting the solenoid into position when you press this down, when this knob is um, lined up with this right here. So the pilot is actually pushed down and the millivolts DC allows the solenoid to maintain being open and, and basically stuck in that position. Uh, once you have your, your main flame and you allow, you know, about a minute for your thermal pile to heat up, and if you go ahead and turn your thermostat right here on heat by basically jumping your R to your W, you know, inside your thermostat face, you could turn it to, to heat and then turn your temperature up. In this case, we're using a Pro 3000, which is rated for a 750 millivolt gas valves and you have to have batteries in it. You can't power it by uh, the 750 millivolts. So the big thing about these millivolt gas valves is that you use a thermostat that is rated for 750 millivolts. If you try to use a standard thermostat, the contacts uh, may not close completely and you might have resistance between them and you, you might lose your millivolts DC uh, from when you take your reading here to where you take your reading right here you'll see like a voltage drop of maybe 20 millivolts or maybe even 100 millivolts and that's a big deal uh, because if, if this needs at least 50 to 60 millivolts DC and preferably 100 millivolts uh, DC, your main gas valve actually needs 250 millivolts when powering. Okay, so 190 millivolts would be say the cutoff, that would be um, pretty low, all right, uh, in order for your, your gas valve to allow the, the full flame to flow through. Um, but so we, we always figure about 190 to 250 millivolts DC is basically what we need for a standard millivolt gas valve in order to open up. Now that's not how much voltage you should have here before you turn your thermostat to heat. That should be how much you have between here and here when you do, when you are calling for heat. So let's go ahead and light this just so you can see what's happening. But basically what's happening is you have your positive lead for your 750 millivolts going through to your thermostat and then back out of your thermostat to the TH. This will end up powering the main gas valve from TH to THTP. Your pilot valve will always be powered um, anytime that these two connections are on here. So let's go ahead and light this. We've already turned this to the pilot. And we're going to take a DC millivolt reading right on our connections here. And you see that we're reading um, above, say, 60 millivolts. So that means that that, that that pilot valve is actually stuck open right now. See, I no longer have to press this down. 
Now you want to wait for your millivolts DC reading to get up towards, say, 600 millivolts before you try to put a load on it, meaning that you are going to turn the heat on. Because once that happens, the voltage is going to drop. And you just want to make sure that you maintain a DC millivolt read, uh, reading, say, above 190 millivolts DC, and that will allow this uh, millivolt gas valve to work properly. If you do have a problem with not getting your millivolt uh, reading up high enough, you may need to adjust your pilot flame and there's a little screw back here right here it's pilot adjustment and you may need to adjust your flame or maybe possibly this head right here is uh, bent out of whack and maybe the flame is kind of coming up too high and it's not really engulfing the thermopile so you may need uh, to either replace that or to adjust that uh, pilot head right there and you or or you may need to adjust that that flame higher so on this one right here, if I adjust it a little bit um, lower, I would have to turn clockwise, and to adjust the flame higher, I would have to turn it counterclockwise. So I'd have to take this little screw cover off. But right now you see that we're at almost approaching 500 millivolts DC. We're going to go ahead and turn this knob to the on, make sure the on lines up with this uh, dial down here. And then we're going to go ahead and turn the thermostat to heat. And now you see that we have a voltage drop over here on this side of 200. Well, we have a voltage drop and we're actually reading 240 millivolts. Now, if we check out over on this side, it'll be lower than whatever that is. So we're reading 222 millivolts. So you can see that there's a significant voltage drop from where the pilot valve is wired into to where we have the main gas valve wired at. So presently we're reading 230 millivolts roughly and you see that that is actually enough to open up that gas valve. So you just want to make sure that your, your thermopile is definitely engulfed in the flame and um, making sure that you have enough voltage so that when you have your voltage drop occurring that your, your main DC voltage reading is able to stay above 190 millivolts DC. You see that we are basically leveled off here at about 230 millivolts DC right there. Okay, so now if I pull this right here, you're going to see that this will, will shut off, okay? Because that's how we're powering it. We're powering it through the thermostat, through the thermostat wiring from here, from where your positive lead comes in, through the thermostat, and back over to your TH. So if you're noticing a severe voltage drop, then it could be in the thermostat itself. Uh, so if you saw what we just did right there, and this time we use alligator clips instead, now we'll go ahead and take our reading. So you can do this actually at the uh, furnace just to see uh, what the voltage reading is. And now you see 240 millivolts DC right there. Okay. Whereas before we were reading 10 millivolts lower than that. Okay. But our actual uh, voltage reading from our thermal pile is actually 2 millivolts higher than that yet. So we're reading 241.6. All right. But that's how it works. Obviously, this is not a standard setup. I just piped this in here just to do the video with. And if you want to help support this HVACR training channel, check out patreon.com slash acservicetech, where we're rewarding the members there by adding extra content such as articles, videos, and answering questions. And if you're looking for the tools and supplies used in this video, such as the multimeter, the millivolt gas valve, or the thermopile, I have them all linked down in the description below. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.